Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to find the area of a circle given the radius. Remember, area is the amount of space a two-dimensional, or flat, figure takes up, and we measure area in square units. So how many square units does a given figure take up? Or you can think of it as how many square units to cover the given figure. Now the formula we use for the area of a circle is area equals pi r squared. So pi times the radius squared. So we do need to be familiar with both diameter and radius when we work with circles. Diameter is the distance all the way across a circle. So it's a line segment that connects two points on the circle and it has to go through the center. And then the radius is half the diameter. So it goes from the center to any point on the circle. And then lastly, before we get into our example, is pi, which is the ratio of a circle's circumference to its diameter. Pi is a constant, so it's the same for all circles. Now pi is irrational. It goes on forever. So we are going to use an approximate or rounded version of pi, 3.14. With that being said, let's jump into our example where we have a circle with a radius of 9 centimeters. Now the first thing that I'm going to do is write out the formula for the area of a circle. So area equals pi r squared. Then I'm going to plug in the radius. So area equals pi times the radius, which is 9 centimeters, squared. After that, let's do 9 squared, which means 9 times 9, not 9 times 2. That's a common mistake. So remember, 9 squared, when you square a number, that means multiply that number by itself. So 9 squared means 9 times 9, which is 81. So we end up with pi times 81. Now we can rewrite this as area equals 81 pi. One way to write the area of a circle is to write it in terms of pi, meaning we can write our number in front of the pi symbol and put our unit of measure, which is centimeters. And when working with area, it's going to be square units. So we have area equals 81 pi square centimeters. So again, one way to write our answer is in terms of pi. So we have our number and then our pi symbol followed by the unit of measure squared. Now another way we can do this is to use an approximate version of pi. Like I mentioned earlier, we're going to use 3.14. So pi is approximately 3.14. So that squiggly equal sign there, that means an approximate value, unlike an equal sign, which means an exact value. So something to keep in mind when you see that. So let's go through our process here, and we're going to start by writing out our formula. So area equals pi r squared. Next, let's plug everything in. So we have area is approximately, and I'm using the approximately symbol since we are using an approximate version of pi. So 3.14 that we're using for pi times our radius of nine centimeters squared. So nine squared is going to give us, well, we have 3.14 and nine squared equals 81. So we end up with 3.14 times 81. And that's going to give us an approximate area of 254 and 34 hundredths square centimeters. And again, that's an approximate area because we used an approximate version of pi. So that gave us an approximate area there in decimal form in comparison to this area over here, 
which we wrote in terms of pi. So there you have it. There's how you calculate the area of a circle. Use the formula area equals pi r squared, and then we have different options as far as how we write that area. We can write it in terms of pi, or we can use an approximate version of pi to get an approximate area in decimal form. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.